And the Patriots have won their sixth Super Bowl title. In the early 2000s, they won three of four. Now they have won three of the last five. Yes, it's still a dynasty. We are all Patriots. And once again, the Patriots are world champions. He has an incredible determination to succeed. And not just for himself, but for everyone in the entire organization. And he is the most remarkable man and the kindest, most philanthropic man um, that you could wish to meet. He's the best, simply the best. Robert Kraft and the New England Patriots represent the best in American professional sports. Prior to Kraft's arrival, however, the team was anything but the best. That's a very back of pass. He's looking, looking, throws the ball to Cotter in the end zone. He's wide open. Touchdown, Tampa Bay! Back then, the team was terrible. One of my most vivid memories as a kid was going to the games on Sundays with my dad and my brothers. And my dad would pick us up at Hebrew school in a back door because he used to sneak us out early so we could get to the games on time. I don't think my mother ever knew about that. Anyway, we'd go to the games hoping they would just keep it close because most of the time they were getting blown out and we'd have to leave at halftime. My objective in doing this is to help bring a championship to New England. After buying the Patriots and adding some much needed stability to the franchise, Kraft made good on his promise. Out of military, booms a 48 yard field goal, and the Patriots are Super Bowl champions. What followed next is NFL history. During Kraft's 25 years of ownership, his Patriots had the league's best winning percentage and won six Super Bowl titles an NFL record. If you could tell me all these years later that we would have brought the team to 10 Super Bowls and won six of them, I would have said you're out of your mind and you've been drinking a lot of schnapps. He's had such a vision for how the organization should run and how his company should run. And he puts so much work every day to make sure they happen. And that absolutely makes a huge difference. The rise of the New England Patriots franchise to the top of American professional sports is the most recognizable accomplishment of Robert Kraft's professional career. That's the football part of the story. Getting to know Robert Kraft means family, faith, and philanthropy. He grew up in an Orthodox Jewish household, and their life very much uh, revolved around the traditions of Judaism and the dream of the state of Israel. So Robert's faith is everything to him. And Robert regards it as one of the greatest miracles of his lifetime, that he was alive when the state of Israel was founded. I think the greatest values I learned growing up in an observant, conservative Jewish household was about consistency of tradition. And then that reinforces the consistency for your family, most importantly, your kids, to show that you're there, you're celebrating these traditions together year in and year out, and that's really important. My father would always say to me that the greatest thing you can do for a country is to develop economic interdependence with others, to help grow an economy, to create jobs, to create a sense of vibrancy. And so in the mid 80s, he bought into a packaging company that was on the verge of bankruptcy, Michele Carmel. I think his greatest sense of pride as relates to everything that he's done in Israel was taking a company on the verge of bankruptcy and turning it into the country's largest packaging company, financially strong and vibrant and having created almost a thousand jobs. As a business person, he's a shrewd but fair negotiator. And once an agreement is reached, he's the most loyal partner you could ask for. My mom and dad honeymooned together in Israel in 1963. And it was clear to my brothers and I their love and passion for the country. In 1999, they took their passion for Israel and combined it with another one of my dad's great passions, American football, with the building of the Kraft Family Stadium in Jerusalem. Come on, 
In addition, two years ago, we built the Kraft Family Sports Campus, which includes the only regulation size American football field in the Middle East. Additionally, he has led dozens of missions to the Holy Land, including hosting more than 40 Pro Football Hall of Fame players to the land he loves. They breathe the air. They touch the stones. They see the people. So think about this has been standing this well for thousands of years. They see it, they experience, they feel it, they touch it, then they get it. They know it, and then they tell that story back home. Really, you start him on football and he comes right back to Israel and Jerusalem. So it's great to see his love for this country. Bob is incredible. I mean, he's just, uh, he's, it's all soul. He's building bridges of friendship, and he wants people to see Israel as it really is. There needs to be more honors like Robert Kraft. Um, he's, a, he's a class act. Please welcome the Patriots chairman and CEO, Mr. Robert Kraft. My father, blessed memory, left me an ethical will, and he said, when you go to bed at night, Make sure the people you touch that day are richer for having known you. I'll never forget reading the story about the legendary surprise phone call that comes from Mr. Kraft to a select few nonprofits. This is Robert Kraft from the New England Patriots. How are you? Hi, I'm doing great. How are you? And here I am on my cell phone at 7.30 in the morning talking to Robert Kraft. I'd like to give Silver Lining Mentoring a hundred thousand dollars, he said. What he values is focusing on a lot of those people or groups that are forgotten, marginalized by society. And it's not just his financial support he gives them, he loves going in and meeting them as a person. We want all of you to come to the game on Sunday. It was one of the best days of my life. Surprise after surprise. Thank you. It really makes me feel proud of my dad to know that he not only writes the check, he goes in and connects with the people. He wants to understand how they feel. I just wish there were more human beings in the world like him. Our friendship has blossomed um, because of his generosity towards so many organizations, including the Elton John AIDS Foundation. So it gives me great pleasure to present the Elton John AIDS Foundation Enduring Vision Award to our wonderful friend, Robert Kraft. At least 11 people are dead and six more wounded after a man walked into a synagogue near downtown Pittsburgh with an assault rifle and three handguns. Ain Rob Lee Tov. There's no bad that happens that doesn't have some good associated with it. And I promised the people there that we would try to find a way to turn something positive from that. A soccer game in Foxborough has a unique goal, fighting hatred. The New England Revolution played the Chelsea Football Club from London, and all proceeds will go toward fighting anti-Semitism. We are able to use the power of sport to try to do some good here and bring people together to focus on the negativity of hate crimes and especially anti-Semitism and BDS. And we raised in excess of four million dollars that'll go to combat these horrible problems. My father of blessed memory I think he would be very proud to know that his son is receiving the Genesis Prize in the city of Jerusalem when it is free for our people. It would mean as much to him, if not more, than winning a Super Bowl. My father winning the Genesis Prize for something that my parents were instilling in my brothers and I from literally the day we were born is really cool. There is only one person on the planet who has Lombardi trophies and tries to live his life according to Pirkei Avot, and that is Robert Kraft. <laughs>